I was asked today by one of my subs to if I would do a review on my um, New King James journal book. She, she did one today on a ESV. She was just saying that how good the paper was in these things to write in. Well, she's actually right. I mean, I, yeah, I use all sorts of pens and pencils and markers and highlighters and this. And I haven't found anything that bleeds through. You might be able to show through on the writing, but when you write on the other side, you don't really see it. And I've just been using, I use, this is a Zebrite highlighters, the Micron, I use double A5s, and these ones are Pilot, Tech Pilots A4, and they're pretty, you know, they're not too bad, but yeah, and they don't even bleed through, and they're quite, they're quite dark, and so I've got those, and I also use pencils, and sometimes I use graphite pen, pencils in, in it, and there, so I'll show you a couple of examples. So, Genesis. Uh, no, no problems. They're, these, they're those Pilot Tech, those ones there. And you see, when we go through over to here, well, you might see a bit of show through, but it doesn't bleed through. And there's the yellow. Zebra highlights. Uh, I don't see that at all. You've got green, the green zebra underline. No, can't see it. Uh, and then we go to here where I've done a drawing. I think this today actually. Somebody drew in their Bible. I thought it was pretty cool, so I thought oh, I'll give it a try. I mean, this is just my test one, so it didn't turn out too bad. I'm trying to get a better photo of it would be good. Yeah, it's a well, sort of a well, a bit crooked looking, but oh well, it's a well. And I just use those pencils, and as usual, you know, pencils won't go through. You get a bit of a see through or something, but yeah, I won't be colouring it in. I just leave it like that. I'm not real great with colours, colouring in stuff, and. Doing that Bible journaling, even though it looks pretty good, I just, yeah, I just can't do it. I'm, I'm more, I'm more a note taker person. And we've got um, color pencils, we've got highlighters, we've got those pens, those Pilot C Tech pens. And as you can see on the other side, I've just got colours in that. It hasn't gone through. I mean, paper's really good on this. I was quite surprised. For the price of one of these Bibles, it's actually quite surprising how good the paper actually is on here if you want to write in them. I mean, I mean I've marked up and done all sorts of things in this thing, and I haven't had any problems with any bleed throughs whatsoever. But, I mean, what I do on this one, I wouldn't do in my Cambridge. It's a lot, lot I think it's a lot thinner paper, and I wouldn't do what I, what I do in that New King James. Like, I've used those Micron pens in here. It's not too bad, but yeah, you can, oh, that's not a great thing. There you go, you can see some see-through. From those double O micron pens. Now you can see more see through on this one than you will see on the new King James one. And we'll go over. Okay, the highlighters are pretty good. I mean, I use really good highlighters, so you're not going to see the highlight going through. But I wouldn't use I wouldn't use these in in this book because these will definitely run. These will definitely bleed through. But yeah. As you can see, there's more show through on this. Like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use some of these pens that I use on, on this. I would definitely not get away with it on this Cambridge. And yet, I've got this, 
This is my Oxford. And this is 52 GSM paper. And I would say this would be just as good as the paper I'm using in that New King James. As you can see, just see it's coming through. That's from the other side. But I would say this paper would be on, on with that. And I'll use colours and everything in this. I have not used those ZTEC ones. I don't think I wouldn't dare use it in this one anyway. But I mean, you can't even you can't get these ones anymore. I, I picked this one up second hand. And yes, as you can see, I do a lot of notes. I'm 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 a note writer. I just I just yeah fill it up. So this is great. Now, like I said, this one here, the paper in that is incredible if if you can't afford these i mean i mean i can't afford them either brand new because both this and my cambridge one i both bought them second hand but if you want a nice new journal bible or a wide wide bible don't don't go past these ones just don't because for the price of them and this is a thomas nelson one for the price of them you can't go wrong you really can't not with the no, it's the same sort of see-through I would get in my Cambridge. That is the same sort of see-through and using exactly the same pens. Right. Just because you don't have the money and you group would, you know, doesn't mean you can't have a wide mate a wide margin Bible. Right. You can go buy a church one, they have the same sort of thing, those church Bible publishers. But you know, sometimes people can't even afford them. I know I can't afford one of those. Especially in Australia and get it shipped out here. I mean, you can get these Bibles out here for around fifty to eighty dollars. So, and you know, I would try one of these. The paper is nice and yellow, so at night time it's really good to read. And this one's red leather. I'll find the red for you. Haven't done that much in Matthew. There we go. Look, red leather, nice red leather as well. So yeah. Don't pass up one of these cheap ones to get one of these expensive ones. Like I said, they don't make these ones anymore. And I got them secondhand anyway. But, yeah, don't knock up this one. I mean, I love this Bible. You don't have, yeah. I don't think you can go wrong with one of these. So I hope that helps you if you're deciding on getting a wide margin and what you can and can't mark in them. Like I said, I mean, this thing's just awesome to, to write in. And it's even got lines in this one, and even though I don't use the lines. As you can see, I don't use the lines because I write it a bit smaller. But, yeah. And it's just, it's nice paper. So I hope this helps. Mm. And Bible believing Christian, I hope this makes you happy I did the video for you. Okay? Enjoy. Bye.